So, hello viewers! This is new to what I do before on Roblox. This is Albion Online. It's something that I've seen lots of ads for, and I'm just really interested. So, I created a character, joined the game, and here I am. Click on the ground to move and find a way off the beach. Oh. Oh. Current quest objectives are displayed in the box on the right. Find a way off the beach. Oh, alrighty. Did I... I'm doing it. There we go. Get to advantage points. Stay in this circle for two seconds. Quest areas and quest NPCs are marked on the minimap. Get to advantage point. Stay in the circle for two seconds. This is minimap. And I am that arrow. Okay. Got it. Talk to the survivor, whom is over here. I want to switch my perspective. Um, keep a steady hand on the tiller, crafter. First steps, mission finished. Another survivor, I'm glad you survived the attack unarmed. Unharmed. I wasn't so lucky I broke my arm when the explosion threw us overboard. I don't know what happened to the others. Complete. Information is key. Let's gauge our situation. This tower seems like a good lookout. Climb up there and find out what happened to our ship. Climb the lighthouse, look for the ship, check the bridge for enemies, return to wounded crafter in the lighthouse. So this is the tutorial. And apparently it's going to end up being, like, it is a massive multiplayer role-playing game. Check the bridge for enemies. Um, I- oh, is that the bridge? Okay. Go back down the stairs. Oh, so there is an enemy. That guy's an enemy. Got it. Oh, I can click and drag and then it, like, constantly follows. Wait, use this- wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm confused. Use the spell on your boots- yeah, what? The spell on your boots by pressing shortcut F. I have magic boots? Oh my gosh. On cool- so it's not like an on-off thing. It's legitimately a spell. Did I do- okay, yeah. I'm back. Okay. So the ship is stranded nearby, but the path is blocked by four bandits? They're probably heretics. Crazed and dangerous outlaws. Complete. These heretics will curse the day they shot at us. You'll need a weapon, friend. I am sure we can craft you a crude sword. Bring me some logs and stone. Gather wood or stone by left kicking- left clicking on a tree or rock. Gathered rough logs. I've gathered rough stone. Oh wait, I need more. <laughs> that depleted, okay. Rough stone. What is this gonna give me? That's logs too? I'd hardly imagine a small tree like that gives full on logs. But I guess whatever works. Oh, I guess I didn't- I don't think that needed that- I don't think I needed that stone. <laughs> Complete. Oh, I didn't read it, dang it. Okay, give the resources to the blacksmith. He will help you craft your weapon. Accept. Hello, traveler. Come closer and have a look. Cons usage fee per 100 nutrition consumed? Okay, that, that's a bit too complicated for me. The beginner's broadsword in the blacksmith's inventory. Pressed craft. Craft. You crafted it. You can find your beginner's broadsword in your inventory. Shortcut one. Oh, wait, shortcut I. Dang it, why are those two things so similar looking? Equipped items by dragging and dropping them into the proper inventory slot. Tip. Right-clicking automatically equips items. Right- Clicking automatically equips items. Beginner's broadsword. Spells can be selected by opening the item details. Left click on items. Select a spell on your new item. Dash to the targeted enemy, dealing 108 physical damage. Swing your sword in a 6 meter radius around you, dealing 92 physical damage. Oh, there's more information that it won't let me see. How do I- hold on. I, I'm not entirely sure how to get out of this, how to see these details. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, there's things down here. The way my thing was set up, I couldn't see those! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's see. Cool down three seconds. Cool down three seconds. Energy cost five or three. I'd like to take advantage of speed. There we go. Return to the wounded crafter in the lighthouse. This is hardly a lighthouse. Well, it's not one that I've seen. Keep a steady hand. This will do. Good work. Here, take my shield. You need it more than I do. Are you ready to face them? Oh, maybe? <laughs> Those heretics messed with the wrong crew. How I wish I could give them a sound thrashing. Not Cyana, you'll have to do it in my stead. Raise shield and sword and give them H-E double hockey sticks. Open your inventory and equip the shield. Get to the ship and find the rest of the crew. Equip the shield from your inventory. Oh, cool. Go to the gate and get ready for a fight. Oh no. Um, is this my- is this my- I'm only 1% weight. Is that a good thing or a bad- what's this? Oh my gosh, these are- oh wait, those are shortcuts, right? Wait, K, F, is that a Q? Q? That is a Q. So, that's my charging ability, because it's the sword. This is healing. 
And this is the sprint. I see. Go to the gate and get ready for a fight. Click left click on an enemy to auto attack. Auto attack. Oh, what's, what was it? K. K. Can I heal? K. Let me heal. No. What? Am I not do- Wait, did I not click the right thing? I was pretty sure that was a K. Is that an R? Dang it. My screen setup is so not efficient. <laughs> I need to fix this. <laughs> okay. Wait, so I killed those guys and that guy's not advancing. I kill the rest of the enemies. Okay. Tack. <gasps> Ooh. Mastery achieved. Novice adventurer. Mastery achieved. Trainee farmer. Oh, I'm so excited to farm. That's what I want to do. I want to farm so much. You're going to see such amazing farms. Okay. Fulfill your destiny. You've unlocked your destiny board. Shortcut B. Oh, great. What's this? The destiny board consists of nodes. Nodes show the progression and skills of your character. Unlock nodes by gaining fame. There is combat fame earned by defeating enemies. Fighter fame. Uh, okay. Gathering fame for gathering resources. And crafting fame for crafting. Details can be viewed by selecting a node. You will unlock equipment and skills by fulfilling the requirements for the next level of the node. You can also follow the progress of a specific node by toggling track. The progress of track nodes is displayed on the destiny board tracker located in the top right corner of the HUD. Okay. Oh, I move around. Okay. This is me. I'm here. This is adventurer, which is doing regular adventure stuff. Craftsman, crafting things, gatherer, farmer. Oh, that's exciting. I'm probably gonna do a lot of gathering though, logically. <laughs> Tracker? Oh, that's, wow. Fighter, okay. <laughs> it didn't tell me how to leave. Um, what is auto respect? Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, I, that's a bit too complicated. I found the X button. Um, I broke the chest. I got a mercenary's hood. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna assume that's good. Equip. Do I need this open? Oh my gosh, that just opened even more. Um, I don't really care about these things. There we go. Uh, now, oh, great. How do I... Oh, I figured it out. Okay, <laughs> through the gate. Get to the ship and find the rest of the crew. The cove. Oh, oh my gosh. What's going on now? Ooh, welcome to the tutorial. Entering the lighthouse, not allowed in this area. Entering the cave, PVB is not allowed. Purpose, other language. That's definitely not English, you're lying. <laughs> um, what am I? Oh, I'm in a public area now. Get to the ship and find the rest of the crew. Oh my gosh! You're currently playing in the tutorial area. If you're playing with friends, they might be in a different tutorial area. Some interactions are blocked during the tutorial. At the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to choose your starting point in Albion. You can use this as an opportunity to meet up with your friends. Okay. Let oh, there's so many people. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. This is a video game, so it's fine. In real life, I'd be freaked out. <laughs> Speak to Captain Tia in the cove. I'm assuming that's this person. Do they have legs? Oh, they're just standing behind something. <laughs> they messed with the wrong crew. You made short work of that heretic scum. Bloody well done. You're not Cyan, aren't you? Thought I saw you on board. <laughs> I like how the name makes it sound like it's a double negative. <laughs> I thought I saw you on board. Anyway, my ship is damaged. This bloody island isn't even Albion, and the heretics control the sea passage. So we're doing great. I'm Tia, of course. Captain Tia. Complete. We need to repair my ship if we ever want to leave this island. Wood, leather, metal, and cloth are what we need. Crafter Scyllas can teach you how and where to get them. But first, you get yourself. Mount from the marketplace. Trust me, you'll do a lot of walking. Go to the marketplace. Equip the- Okay. Marketplace, presumably. Marketplace. Here you can sell and buy items. Once you leave the tutorial, marketplaces and cities will be purely player-driven. Almost every item in Albion is player-crafted. Use the search bar for specific items. Drop down menu to browse. Buy to obtain the item. Find the novice mule. Press buy to acquire the mount. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Can I get it? No one is currently <laughs> Okay, I guess I just get it normal mule. Um, transfer completed purchase directly into inventory. Below app, uh, huh, buy. Yes. You purchased a mule. Oh, I'm so happy now. Wait, no wait, I'm just opening more things. Stop walking. I don't know what this is. Close out of this. I'm so heavy now. I got weight 91%. I'm just, I guess I just picked up and I'm carrying the mule. Cause why not? I'm just that strong. 
Who needs to have mount the mule when you can carry the mule across your shoulders like a backpack? <laughs> Ooh, okay. Durability? I don't like the idea of wearing down a horse's durability. I feel like that's usually called health. Simple mount given to new arrivals to the lands of Albion. Equipped. Oh my gosh. I wonder if there's a way I can close this. Uh, um, uh, can I hide? <laughs> um, shoot. You know what? I'll just go here. There we go. I don't need to see people chat. Mount your mule by pressing the mount button or using the hotkey. There, there's a lot of background noises in my house. It's like a zoo here. <laughs> mount your mule by pressing the mount button or using the hotkey. A. A. Oh, it's loading. Oh my gosh, I'm where I'm- I'm- <laughs> I'm riding my mule. Find the wounded crafter. All right, um, over here. Not Sienna, thanks for your help. Never introduced myself properly, did I? My name is Crafter Silas. There is much to be done, but I'll help in any way I can. Complete. Let's get this started, shall we? Firstly, you'll need a pickaxe and an axe to gather high tier resources. Go to the tool maker and find out what you need to craft the tool. Alrighty, tool maker. Go, go, donkey, go, go. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, it's a mule, not a donkey. Uh, it's not letting me talk to him. This is the person, correct? Am I incorrect? I'm gonna go over to the exclamation mark and see if I'm incorrect. I am not cor <gasps> Wait, wait, what's going on now? Now it's giving me a different thing. This person? Oh, then why was that person, like, had a special ring around him? Around him? Hello, traveler! Come closer and have a look! Beginner pickaxe. I need resources. I do not have resources. Come on, horse. Let's go. Oh. These look depleted. Yep, I was right. Um, what is this area? Um, is this where I'd get more- Oh! Oh, okay, this stuff is regenerating. Alrighty. Do you think if you just, like, sit here and farm a bunch of stuff, you can go in without having to search for new resources when you eventually do enter the Albion world? Craft. Alright, now I need an axe. Which more wood. And more stone. Alrighty. More wood. Oh, this is difficult. Alright, I've depleted the resources. Craft. Alrighty. I can equip these, right? Oh! Oh, that makes sense. It's just in your hand. I guess I'll keep my- yeah, I don't know what else to do. Oh, one hand each. That makes sense. Nice. Your map is a valuable ally out there. Learn to use it. I can tell you which dangers you'll face, what sorts of resources you will find, and what the best escape route might be. Oh, it can. <laughs> Open the world map by pressing the button. Return to ca Return to craft or sell us in the cove. Map button. <gasps> Ooh, this is the world map. Here you can find information about the whole continent of Albion. Individual regions are called zones. Left click on a zone to open its local map. Oh, here you can find more detailed information about the selected area. The detail bar above shows all important information. The cove, friend re safe region, players. Oh, it's telling me right now. Name and PvP rules. <laughs> Jumping too far ahead. Display such info as players in a cluster in times for guild battles. Which resource can be found in this zone? There are five biomes. Swamp, forest, steep, highland, and mountain. Resources found within the zones are displayed in the top right corner. Ooh, okay. Uh, now what? I see. My map has saved me a lot of time, and also saved my life a few times. If we want to get the ship seaworthy again, we'll need wood, leather, iron, and cloth for repairs. Let's start with wood and leather. You should find birch trees and foxes aplenty in the nearby forest. Okay, go into the forest. I'm gonna make a tough at guess and assume that's not the forest. This is the forest, I bet. Forgotten Woods. Recognizing resources. Birch trees. White bark and yellow leaves. Have different bark and leaf colors. Fo foxes are small animals with red fur, mainly roaming the forest on their own. Hide can be gathered from any wild, fair, fur-bearing animal. Oh, I don't know if I want to kill the animals. Oh my gosh! Well, I guess if they're already dead, it's... Oh. Is this one protected from looting? <laughs> Ooh. I see. So what do I do now? I don't want to kill the animals. I really don't want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that to other people who are okay with that. At least for now. Um, what am I doing? I need a pick an axe. I need an axe. Right click. Now how do I escape again? Dang it. Okay. Gather birch logs. There's birch. I'm still learning how to navigate this place. All right. I got rugged hide from foxes. Perhaps no one wants to- No, it's depleted. Three. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to do that. No, why am I fighting the fox? No, I did not, I'm not okay with this. Why am I fighting the fox? 
Oh, I didn't mean to start this fight. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Do I have to? What a cruel rite of passage. I'm sorry, little AI d digital foxes. I did not desire this. Oh, please tell me that's it. Oh, phew. You are getting the hang of this. Complete. You'll be going after ore and fiber next. Both can be found in the mountains. I will mark the path up there on your map. At least neither ore nor fiber will bite. I... Oh, Unbelievable. I should probably bring out the mount. There they are. How do I... Oh! I'm gonna qu Wait a minute, where is it then? Oh my gosh. There it is. Wait, so how do I summon my mount? Um, is it this thing? Oh, it is! Okay. Okay, come on, mount. Let's go up. Mountain Fort. PvP is not allowed. Copper ore can be recognized by the brown tinted crystals breaking through the ground. Number and tint of crystals. Cotton is a light brown leafed bush identified by the color. Ooh, that's gotta be a cotton. Yeah. Okay. Harvesting cotton. Now, well, let's go find some copper. This looks like some copper. It's like some copper. How do I get off the mountain now? Oh, what is this again? A? Okay. <laughs> copper ore. Alrighty. Return to camp. And talk to Silas. I don't think I went the right way, hold on. Oh, when do I get to see the bigger world? This tutorial is taking much longer than I thought it would. Alright, I'm back. Let's go. Ha. Must have been cold up there, but you got everything we need. A task well done. Time to refine these raw materials. Thank you for watching this far. This outro means I have not finished my goal. And it will continue in the next video. See you then. Bye.